There's a lot of talk of the Detroit Lions in playoffs, and y'all didn't want to believe me. Y'all didn't want to believe me. Y'all were laughing in my face. Y'all were laughing in my face. Uh, playoffs? Don't talk about it. Playoffs? You kidding me? Playoffs? I just hope we can win a game. And we have. We've won five of the last six, you could say. We were a field goal away from beating the Buffalo Bills, right? But we lost, and it is what it is. We moved on. We won two straight. This coming week in week 15, we need a Seahawks loss to the 49ers. I'm not going to lie. I would love to see the Colts upset the Minnesota Vikings just because their fan base is probably the second worst this year, second to the Chicago Bears. We also need the Falcon Saints. That's going to be a weird one. We need a Saints win, okay, to keep the Falcons at bay because these teams aren't done. Falcons need to stay at bay. Think about the Lions. How one win, we went from five and eight potentially to six and seven. Look at how big that is. We need, obviously, the Bears have been eliminated, so it doesn't matter. They affect us, but they'll get stomped by the Eagles. We need to win our game, of course. And the Bengals play the Buccaneers. But the two games that we are keeping an eye on, we also, I also missed one. I missed one. The Packers, I skipped over them because they are back this week. All right. Now, this is when Detroit Lions fans, y'all going to have to make up y'all mind. I saw this on Twitter today, and I thought it was disgusting. I thought it was disgusting. Not as disgusting as what I saw from that channel that talks Detroit. But almost. The biggest three games of the week for the Detroit Lions outside of our own when we're talking about playoffs is, well, it's, it's another one. It's low key. All right. We need the Steelers to beat the Panthers. The Panthers, are, they, they streaking right now three in a row, and they are very much alive in the NFC South. Everybody's alive in the NFC South. We need a Steelers win. We need the Falcons win. Or a Saints win, I'm sorry, to keep the Falcons at bay. Obviously, we need to take care of our business. Would be nice to see the Colts upset the Vikings. But the, the teams that's ahead of us, we need a 49ers win. They got Brock Party, Purdy. <laughs> they're on the road. So we need a 49ers to keep doing what they're doing, win that game. All right? We also need... The biggest one of the week is the Washington Commanders, New York Giants. Remember, both of those teams tied two weeks ago when they played. The Commanders were off week 14. The Giants lost to the Philadelphia Eagles in Molly Watt fashion. That game literally could go either way. It could go either way. Now, here's the question that I have for you. Monday Night Football, Rams at Packers. Baker Mayfield has been confirmed to be the starter for the rest of the season. Okay? We need the Rams to win that game, but here's the question I have for you. What are you rooting for? You're rooting for draft position or playoffs. Rams win that game, it keeps the Packers at bay. I'm telling you right now, you don't want to see Aaron Rodgers with a chance. We need to snuff them out. They need to be snuffed out. That's going to be a tall task for the Rams. No Matthew Stafford. They cut their one of their running backs. Aaron Donald, I'm not sure. Jalen Ramsey is pretty much all they have. The Green Bay Packers are 5-8. and eight. We don't want to see Aaron Rodgers at 6-8. and eight. We do not. That's something we don't want to see. 6-8. We win and go to 7-7. Seven and seven. It is a game and a half back. We don't, the, the Green Bay Packers do not need a chance. They need to be snuffed out. Because let's not forget, the Lions have to travel to Lambeau the last game of the season. And I think that the NFL, if the Lions keep winning, the NFL is going to flex the Lions-Packers as the last game of the season. I'm telling you right now, if these teams are 8-8, eight and eight, and they're going if the Lions and Packers are 8 and 8 going into week 18, this will be the last game of the season. Because the winner goes to the playoffs. Now me, you know what I want, I don't have to say it. But the Washington Giants 
that game right there literally could go either way. If they the, the one thing we cannot have happen is them tie again. And if they tie again, then the NFL need to do some investigation. Because no matter how many times you you tie, if another team has less wins than you, you go. So we don't need a tie. They're playing in Landover. So I think one of these teams is going to come out on top. Now the question is, which team do you think or do we need really? All right? Here's the Washington Commanders' remaining schedule. They play the, no, I'm sorry, is this the Washington? This is, yeah, Washington. So the Washington Commanders are 7-5-1. and one. That is 13 games. And their schedule is as follows. The last remaining games. And you you guys tell me which team do you think should win, that we need to win. All right. The New York Giants, after their bye week, which is this, this week, that game has been flexed to Sunday night football. All right. This is the Washington Commanders. Washington plays the New York Giants at home. They play the San Francisco 49ers on the road. They play the Cleveland Browns at home, and they play the Dallas Cowboys at home. How many games do you think they win? I think they go two and two, one and three, or if the Giants win this coming Sunday, the the Washington Commanders could go, could not win another game. That'll put the Washington Commanders at 7, 9, and 1. Now, that is the Washington Commanders. They play the Giants, the Niners, the, the Browns, and Dallas. And three of those games are at home. The only one that is not is the game against San Francisco. The Seattle Seahawks, they got the easiest schedule of the bunch. And they're the team that I think is going to have the sixth seed. But if they're not careful, a second team from the West, I'm sorry, the South, will get in. Now, the New York Giants, their remaining schedule is as follows. Of course, Washington this Sunday at 8 o'clock. The Minnesota Vikings on the road, the Indianapolis Colts at home, and the Philadelphia Eagles on the road. That is going to be a Molly Watt. If, 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 if the Eagles don't lock up the one seed. Now, Nick says two ties equals a loss. Does it? Because two, a tie is a half win. So y'all didn't, y'all didn't, y'all got to remember that. A tie is a half win. If they they tilt a tie toward the win, then a loss. If the Lions, so let me ask you a question. What do you think happens? If the Lions end up 9-8, and eight, but the Giants are 9-6-2, and two, who do you think goes to the playoffs? Okay, so if two ties equals a loss, who goes to the playoffs between the 9-8 and eight Detroit Lions and the, okay, so who goes to the playoffs between the 9-8 and eight Detroit Lions and the 9-6-2 and two New York Giants? Dustin says Giants. John says Wilbur Sports was talking about two ties equal loss. Okay, John, did you research that? Or did you just take their word? Just like what I'm asking you now. As we wrap up the segment, I want you guys to answer this, watching this on playback. If the New York Giants in 9-6-2, but the Detroit Lions are 9-8, who makes the playoffs? Let me know.